letters. Have you thought about how important that they are? James Wilson carried a number of valuable letters of recommendation with him, and through these connections, his life was changed. James Wilson. James Wilson. James Wilson. James Wilson was born on September 14, 1742 in Scotland. He attended a number of universities in the area where he grew up and received an excellent education. After completing his studies, he decided to immigrate to America in search of the freedom he knew he couldn't find in Scotland. He immigrated to America in 1766, carrying with him a number of valuable letters of recommendation. Through these connections, he began tutoring and then teaching at Philadelphia College, and he enjoyed a reputation of being the best classical scholar in the Latin department of the college. While well, having proved his knowledge in the field, James asked for a degree and was awarded an honorary Master's of Arts degree. The most popular career in the field of those days was, of course, law. So James received an offer of entering the study of law. After two years of hard work, he attained the bar in Philadelphia. His office was very successful, and he managed to earn a small fortune in the few short years. From a very early age, Mr. Wilson was very patriotic towards his brand new American home. He was an American from principle from the moment he landed on our American shores. In 1775 to 77 and 1785 to 87, he was elected to the Continental Congress. James Wilson's power of speech and passion and his delivery were commented on favorably by many members of the Congress. He was, however, in kind of a tough situation. Pennsylvania was divided on the issue of separating from Britain, and when the vote came, he was able to grant Pennsylvania's wish for independence. Later on, he was able to sign the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776, about the age of 34. In June of 1779, Mr. Wilson was appointed by France to serve as its U.S. advocate for general maritime and commercial enterprises. Mr. Wilson was held in a very high estimation, and that is confirmed in letters from the King of France. The duties of his office were both difficult and delicate, and few men were better qualified for such an office than Mr. Wilson. In 1781, there were difficulties as to the manner in which he should be paid for his services, and he ultimately resigned his commission, but continued to give advice and to minister to France. In 1781, Wilson was appointed a director of the original Bank of North America. In 1783, he was appointed by the President and the Supreme Executive Council in the great controversy between that state and the state of Connecticut, relating to certain lands within the charter boundary of Pennsylvania. Well, they voted in favor of Pennsylvania thanks to the determination of Mr. Wilson and the impressive argument which he delivered before the court, which occupied several days. Mr. Wilson was a member of the celebrated convention of 1787, which was assembled in Philadelphia for the purpose of forming the Constitution of the United States. He was a fluent speaker and he did much to settle upon just principles and important points. On the 23rd of July, the convention resolved that a committee consisting of Wilson, Rutledge, Randolph, Gorham, and Ellsworth, who reported the draft of the Constitution. When the time came to ratify the Constitution, Mr. Wilson returned as a member of that body and it fell upon him to explain the principles upon which it was founded. He again was powerful in getting the Constitution ratified in that state. In 1789 to 1798, 
General George Washington appointed Mr. Wilson a judge of the Supreme Court of the United States under the federal constitution. He was in this office until his death, August 21st, 1798, at the age of 55. Charles Augustus Goodrich writes of James, towards all with whom he had friendship from abroad, he was friendly and hospitable. And within his family, he was affectionate and indulgent. He was distinguished for great integrity of character and for an inviolate regard for truth. I want to give you a letter. Dear you, thank you for your caring nature. Thank you for wanting to learn and to become a better person. You make a great, big, important, positive impact on everybody around you. What a lucky world to have you in it. You are stronger than you realize. You are more capable than you can even imagine. Go be the very best you. Bring other people to be the very best that they are. Life is great. Why? Because you can think, you can breathe, and you can decide for yourself. Now that's freedom. When was the last time that you wrote a letter recommending or validating someone? Today's your day, and this is that moment. Go write a letter. It really could change the person's whole world. The end.